Hi everyone, this is Teacher Joan of Mathroom. Let me first ask you a question. What is the primary purpose of operating a business? You might be thinking this answer, it is to generate profit. Majority of those who engage themselves in business want to earn money. And in order to achieve this goal of making money, each business sells their products or provides their services more than the cost to earn profit. Hence, to set the right price is important. And if you will engage yourself in business, you have to carefully study how to set the right price to avoid unnecessary errors that would normally cost you a lot of money. It is important for you to keep accurate records of all costs that will aid you in determining the selling price of your product or the price of service that you will be providing. To set the right price, we need to understand a very important concept in business mathematics. So this video will cover this topic, a common business practice that enable you to earn profit, and that is the concept of markup. So for this lesson, the learning objectives are the following. You should be able to define markup, illustrate how markup is obtained, differentiate markup from margins, and describe how gross margins is used in sales. To attain the learning objectives, we need to answer the essential question, what is the use of markup and how to solve problems related to it? First, let us define markup. It is the amount of money added to the cost to cover the operating expenses and provide a profit to the business. Aside from this concept, here are the other terms that we have to take note. First, the selling price. It is the price at which the item is actually sold. Next, cost. It refers to the price that includes all the expenses in the production of the product. And last, we have the markup rate. It is the percentage of the cost to be added to determine the selling price of the product. So how to determine the markup value or percentage? Or how to set the selling price? Markup percentage varies greatly depending on the nature of the business. There is no specific markup percentage that applies to all, but there may be an average for a particular business. And so these are some of the things that need to be considered. First, how much profit does the business want? Second, how much does the business need to cover all expenses? Third, how much the competitor sells their product or services? Fourth, who are your target market? And fifth, for the service, what quality of service would you like to provide? Always take note that the selling price must be reasonable, competitive, and suitable to its target market, and will not make the business lose any money. The markup depends on the industry. But for a wholesaler or a distributor, the average markup is 20%, but it could be as low as 5% or as high as 40%. Some even mark up their products up to 100%. Now, how to compute for the markup? The computation for markup value can be based on either cost or selling price. If the markup is based on cost, the cost is taken as 100% being the base. Or if the markup is based on selling price, the selling price is taken as 100% being the base. For some businesses, cost may be the more logical base for calculating markup. However, calculating markup based on selling price is more advantageous method for many retail stores. You will notice that the markup stated in terms of selling price as base is lower than markup based on cost. This is the primary reason why traders usually express their markup based on selling price to make it appear that they have a lower markup or gross profit. So here is the formula in finding the selling price with markup based on cost. First step, markup is equivalent to the product of markup rate times the cost 
After that, we have to get the selling price which is equal to the cost plus markup. And if you're looking for the markup rate, that is 100 times selling price minus cost all over cost. First problem, finding the selling price. Marisol bought bags for her store that cost 600 pesos each. To make her desired profit, Marisol must mark up each bag 32% on cost. What must be the selling price of the bag? To solve this problem, first, let us take out the given values. It says here that the cost of each bag is 600 pesos. And the markup value rate is 32% or in decimal 0 0.32. Following the formula in finding the markup based on selling price, first, markup is equivalent to the product of the markup rate and the cost. So we have 0 0.32 times 600 is equivalent to 192. Step 2, we have to find the selling price now by getting the sum of the cost and the markup. So we have 600 plus 192. This gives us 792, which is the value of the selling price. This means the selling price of the bag is 792 pesos. Second problem, finding the cost. A pair of running shoes is marked up at 2,100, which is 60% marked up based on cost. What is the cost of the shoes? Here in this problem, we are looking for the cost of the running shoes. So based on our given problem, we have the selling price, which is 2,100, we also have the markup rate, which is given by 60% in decimal 0 0.60. And to solve for this, first, we need to look for the markup value. So MU is equal to MUR times the cost. MU is a known markup we have 0 0.60 cost is also unknown. For step 2, we have SP is equal to the sum of the cost and the markup. For the selling price, we have 2,100. For the cost, it is unknown. And for the markup value, we have to substitute the 0 0.60 times C plus 0 0.60 C. Next, let us simplify this. So we have 2,100 equals 1C plus 0.60C. So we have 1.60C. Divide both sides by 1.60. Cancel this. So we have a value of C which is equivalent to 1,312.50. So it means to say that the cost of the running shoes is 1,312.50. Third, let us find the markup rate. A laser printer costing 8,750 is sold for 12,250. Find the markup rate based on cost. So to answer this problem, first we have the cost, which is 8,750, and the laser printing was sold at the selling price of 12,250. So to find the markup rate based on cost, what we need is first, selling price is equal to the cost plus markup. Since we have the value of SP, 12,250 equals 8,750, which is the cost, plus the markup. So here we have to combine these two. So we have 12,250 minus 8,750 equals MU. So here we have the value of MU, which is 3,500. 
Second step, after finding the MU, we need to find the mark of rate using the formula MU is equal to the MUR times C. So we already know the mark of value, which is 3,5, the mark of rate, that's the unknown, times the C, which is 8,750. To find the MUR, we have to divide both sides by 8,750. Cancel 8,750. So 3,500 over 8,750, the answer here, or the MUR, is equivalent to 0.4 or 40%. This means the markup rate based on cost of the laser printing is 40%. Next, let us compute for the markup based on the selling price. Step 1, markup is equal to markup rate times the selling price. Then step 2, cost is equal to selling price minus markup. First, let us find the cost. What is the cost of an item that has a selling price of 240 and a markup rate of 60% based on selling price? So based on this problem, we have the selling price, which is 240, and the markup rate, which is 60%, which is equivalent to 0 0.60. First step, markup is equal to the markup rate times the selling price. So here we have 0 0.60 times 240 gives us an answer of 144 as the value of the markup. Next, cost is equal to selling price minus the markup value which is equal to 240 minus 144 so this gives us a value of cost which is 96. This means the cost of an item is 96 pesos. Next, let us find the markup based on the selling price. JPD Sports Incorporated sells home gymnasium package for 175,000 and maintains a markup of 37% on selling price. What is the markup value? So here in this problem, we have the selling price, which is 175,000, markup rate, which is 37% or 0 0.37. So to solve for the markup, this is equal to MUR times the selling price. So we have 0 0.37 times 175,000 which is equivalent to 64,750 and this gives us the mark of value. So meaning to say in this problem, the mark of value of the home gymnasium package is 64,750. Now, let us differentiate markup from gross margin. A lot of people are confused with the terms markup and gross margin. They sometimes use these terms interchangeably. Actually, both terms are used to help determine profitability. However, they have different meaning. So now, let us go back to the definition of markup. Markup is defined as the added price to the product to cover its cost and to earn profit. Whereas, when we say gross margin, it is a term that relates the markup and the selling price. Now, let us focus on gross margin. When we say gross margin, it is also a percentage that presents how much the earned profit of a business based on its revenue. It is a quick indicator of the profit available to cover the cost. And to solve for the gross margin, we have markup times the selling price minus cost all over the selling price. Take note that every business should monitor its gross margin to be certain that the business has sufficient amount of money to cover all its expenses and it provides profit for the growth of the business. Let us have an example. Finding the gross margin. A cosmetics retailer puts a store-wide markup of 40% on its makeup products. If the cost of a lipstick is 150 pesos, compute for the gross margin and interpret its value. So in this problem, we have the cost of the lipstick which is 150 
the markup rate which is 40% or 0 0.40. First, let us find the markup value. So this gives us MUR times the cost. So we have 0 0.40 times 150, which gives us a markup value of 60. Next, for the selling price, we have 150, which is a cost, plus the markup value, which gives us 210. So to find the gross margin, we have the markup, which is 60 over the selling price which is 210 and this gives us a value of 28.57% What does this mean? This means that 28.57% of the selling price is your profit. Now, kindly try the following items. To answer this one, kindly pause the video. Let's check your answer. The cost of the DVD was 312.50. Next item, again, you may pause the video to answer this. Let's check your work. The answer here is the rate of the markup based on cost is 60%. Were you able to answer the two problems? If yes, great job. Here are the important concepts that you have to take note. Markup refers to the amount of money added to the cost to cover the operating expenses and provide a profit to the business. Gross margin, on the other hand, is a percentage that presents how much the earned profit of a business based on its revenue. And to compute for the markup, we have based on cost and we also have based on selling price. Here is the end of our discussion. I hope you have learned a lot in this video. Thanks for watching 